This was something that we've been in touch with since the very beginning. This was actually very fast work by investigators. It was only a little more than a week ago when the fire happened, and we now know it was arson. And tonight, a suspect linked to this is in jail. I talked to the owner of the kayaking business that burned down in the fire to see how he is recovering. Realizing that your building is burning, uh, that was a significant shock. Johannes Krieger is owner of Crystal Seas Kayaking, one of the businesses destroyed by a fire in Friday Harbor on April 7th. Krieger started the company in 1993. Everything is day by day. We are trying to figure out the process of going through and rebuilding. Investigators determined within days the fire that engulfed several businesses in Friday Harbor's historical downtown corridor was set on purpose. A bar restaurant, a coffee shop, a real estate office, and the kayak tour office were a total loss. For Krieger, knowing it was arson reassured him that the fire didn't somehow accidentally start from his business. That was a, a relief to some degree, um, another worry at the same time. A worry when investigators determined the fire originated on the deck behind the building where Crystal Seas Kayaking is located. But ultimately, uh, then there's the worrying part that somebody potentially targeted you for arson. So at this point, it seems that we were not a target. The San Juan County Sheriff's Office identified 33-year-old Dwight Henline as a suspect linked to the arson. San Juan County's sheriff says Henline is known to live part-time in Friday Harbor and had run-ins with law enforcement there in recent years. Saturday afternoon, he was arrested in Island County. I have never seen him or even recognize the name or anything of that sort. Krieger is now turning his attention to getting ready for the summer crowds. At this point, we're just very thankful that nobody was hurt. And, and it's really amazing just to see how the community bonds together. Crystal Seas Kayaking is up and running right now and plans to rebuild in their original spot on Spring Street. As for the suspect, Henline, he is being held in Island County right now and will be sent to San Juan County for his court appearance. Back to you guys.